Hello, LinkedIn Live. My name is Joe Schifalalio. This is Stephanie Walker. We are physical therapists and site coordinators of clinical education at Fox Rehabilitation. Really excited to talk with you all about wellness tips as you prepare for the board's exam in less than two weeks at this point. So thank you so much for joining. I want to give a quick introduction to who we are and talk a little bit about our career path. So Stephanie, can you tell everyone a little bit about what brought you here? Yeah, so I'm Stephanie. Um, I actually met Fox at a career fair when I was in my physical therapy program at the University of North Florida. Um, I entered in through the new grad mentorship program um, and then I started with Fox and then I became a mentor myself. Um, and then I eventually was promoted to our RQAL position, which is our regional quality assurance liaison, um, which just offers more support to the team. Um, and then now I'm in the role that I have now, which is the site coordinator of clinical education. And I help place students and um, kind of work with the universities that we partner with. What about you, Joe? Well said. And my career path is exactly the same as Stephanie's, actually. It was just two years before that. I graduated PT school two years earlier, joined Fox, um, became a mentor, RQAL, and now I'm the site coordinator of clinical education role. And it's so fun in this role because we get to do things like this to have interactions with universities, with students, and just help support you as you prepare for your life as new grad physical therapist. PT school is such a long road. It is such a good feeling when you're finally to the other side and you just have that one last hurdle coming up with the board's exam in a couple weeks. So let's jump in to our wellness tips. The first thing we have so that you feel well and feel, feel prepared for the board's exam is to make a plan for test day. Know your plan so there aren't any big surprises on the day of the test. One of the thing, big things we talk about is know what time you're going to leave your home to get to the board's exam. Don't scramble the morning of, don't uh, be last minute, be like, okay, it's finally time to go. Know what time you're going to leave. So know what time you're going to have your breakfast. If you're getting up early, do a little workout. Make sure you are prepared there. Steph, anything to add on that side of it? Yeah, I think um, when I was prepping for the test, I made sure I had um, backup people to call me to make sure I was awake um, because I was really nervous about like missing my alarm. So I remember setting like a bunch of alarms, um, trying to make sure that I got up on time and then also just making sure that I had GPS to myself to the testing location prior to actually going because mine was a pretty pretty significant drive away. So I wasn't sure on like the traffic. Um, so I made sure I gave myself extra time because I also have time anxiety, which was adding to my anxiety of test day. So I wanted to make sure I was there a little bit earlier than the start time um, to make sure I was there on time. Yeah, I was in the same boat. I had about an hour drive to the testing center. I wanted to get there at least a half hour early, have time to use the bathroom, settle in, relax in my car for a little bit whatever. So don't have one of the surprise, don't have that surprise of, oh my gosh, I have to rush, rush into the testing center or I have the speed to get there, be able to enjoy the drive. The next big thing is make sure to have, or I'm sorry, the next big thing is to be done studying at some point. You can only cram so much in right before the test. And Steph and I might have a little bit of a disagreement <laughs> on this. So Steph, when were you done studying for the board's exam? So I cut myself off a week before the boards. Um, I'm just the type of person who I just have to stop at some point and just know that I gave it my all during the time that I did to study and then just kind of let my brain relax. Um, I didn't want to feel burnt out. I'm not the best test taker, so I really didn't want to feel burnt out day of taking the tests and just, you know, studying the night before. Um, so I cut myself off a week in advance and just did not look at anything else. But yeah, I am. <laughs> This is where Steph and I disagreed on our last LinkedIn Live. We talked about practice exams versus not too many practice exams. I feel like the competition side really comes out of me once we're coming up to test day. I feel like I got some of my best studying in about a week or two before the actual exam. But when it came to the day, day before the exam, that's when I was done. I said, okay, everything's in. Let's relax. Let's get centered and just ready to be fully present in the test center so I could access all that knowledge and get it out onto the computer and get those questions right. Yep. Yeah. So definitely do what feels best for you. 
Now, a more fun wellness tip is to make a playlist for your ride to the test center for the morning of. Just those songs that get you pumped up or get you centered, whatever helps get you in the zone. Um, Steph, did you do something like that? Did you have any song that really like got you yeah. there? I mean, I, even in PT school, I always, I always dressed my best for the test because I always thought like, if you dress good, you'll test good. That was my motto in school. So I would wear like an encouraging t-shirt that I liked or um, kind of dress for the part. But then I would also do like a playlist or um, a lot of times I would listen to the Hamilton soundtrack on a test day because that like really pumped me up. Um, one of my PT classmates like still listens to that soundtrack because of me. I'd be like, we have to put this song on. It's going to motivate us for the test. Um, so yeah, I think whatever you can find on your drive there, that's going to motivate you and kind of like put you in the mood for testing and pump you up. I would put that on. What about you? Did you have any like test taking pump up for songs? Me <laughs> Not so much songs for me. It's always been like podcasts or okay. like Philly sports talk radio. Just a big Philadelphia sports fan. So oh just having God. having sports radio on always seems to be. Well, what of, if the Eagles were doing <laughs> bad? Did you That's listen a to good that? question. <laughs> That's a good question. I took my test in October 2017. Oh, it's the year they won the Super Bowl. So it was a great year. Okay. Well, that's, that's a good choice. <laughs> so it was the right time. Yeah, yeah, it was the right time to take it for me. Um, so, yeah, it's just being able to get yourself in the right mindset, whether that's to relax you, pump you up, be prepared for it. Yep. Another wellness tip that we talk about is physical activity, eating well, sleeping well, so that you are as well rested as possible for the exam day. We all know as physical therapists, soon to be a new grad physical therapists, we know that the food we put into our bodies, the amount of sleep we get, that's really going to impact our performance on test day. So we want to make sure to be prepared, get on a good regimen so that you can be, be prepared for that test day. Yeah, I think a whole week ahead of time, I really tried to get in a good sleep routine. Um, I did not. I knew I probably wouldn't be able to sleep the night before the test, just, you know, nerves and everything. So I really wanted to make sure I was like thanking my sleep hours like a couple nights before and catching up on all my sleep. Um, and yeah, just really making sure you stay active in the last two weeks. I feel like that was the best way to keep your brain sort of flowing and making sure that you're retaining the information that you've been studying and able to sort of pull back the information while you're taking the test. Yeah, that was a really good point. We were prepping for this, Stephanie, and you talked about like sleeping well the nights before the exam. It's not just yeah. about getting one good night of sleep. It's about having all those good nights of sleep. And then we all know one bad night of sleep, we can usually recover from that pretty quickly. But if we have three, four nights in a row, so that was a really good, really good point by you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then the next thing we have, a little bit more fun, plan some kind of activity after you take your exam. You finally got through it. You finally pushed through hopefully passed, did everything right, and now you're done the exam, have something fun to look forward to afterwards. Steph, what did you do after your exam? I planned to go to the beach after because my testing center was actually right by the beach or close enough to it, closer than my house. So I drove to the beach after um, and I just remember because I just wanted to lay in the sunshine and not think about the test that I just took. Um, so that's what I did. What about you? That's a good call. For me, I worked out some aggression. I went to a golf driving range and just was there for about an hour, just letting it rip. I mean, my golf game's not very good, but it felt good to do physical activity afterwards and just kind of let out some of that aggression on the golf ball. Um, even though, again, I don't hit it that far. It usually just goes every which way. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are our tips for preparing for the boards exam less than two weeks away now. Um, so want to say, I hope these help you. I hope you can take some of these and really just come in that much more prepared and just put your best foot forward for exam day. We got one a specific question for you because <laughs> mine would go nowhere. Top golf. I was never good at, I was good at golfing when I was like a really little kid, but I am not good now. Yeah, I'd say my best is about 250 yards, which isn't bad, but the problem is where it's going to actually go. So that 250 yards could be, um, you know, out into the actual golf course that's 100 <laughs> yards this way or into the net or into the road, anywhere else. That's just not that, not where it's supposed to go. <laughs> um, Mine would end up in the pond every single time. Yeah, it's yeah. tough. Always find water somehow. 
Um, Stephanie, any tips to help calm your nerves going into test day? Yeah, I think um, I didn't do this at the time that I was in PT school, but I do it a lot more now as an adult. Um, meditation, I think if you have the time to wake up um, and meditate either before you go to the testing center or even when you get there, if you get there, you know, 30 minutes early and you want to meditate for a little bit, I feel like that has really helped me in my post-grad life to sort of control my um, anxiety and nerves. So definitely um, there's a lot of apps out there. The Calm app is one that I use um, and you can do a, just a 10 minute meditation system, session, not system, um, to sort of calm your nerves. What about you, Joe? Do you have anything? Yeah, for me, it's reminding myself of all the preparation I did for the board's exam. So obviously, you've been studying hard for the last month or two for the NPTE, but you've also done two and a half, three years of PT school, however long your program is. You've already been on um, 30 weeks of clinical, clinical experience, thir up to 36 weeks usually. So you've had all that time where it may not have been direct studying for the NPTE, but it was studying for the NPTE. There's a lot of clinical situations that come up and there's a lot of things that you'll find that'll be very useful, useful for you on the board's exam. So remind yourself that you have put in the time and energy. You have worked hard to graduate from PT school. You're where you belong right now. And it's just a matter of putting it on paper and getting that final license. So what is the best NPTE brain food? What did you bring the day of your test? Yeah. So I always think about like, you know, prepping up before I remember I tried to eat just like actually more fish, more seafood than I usually do, which is like a nice treat. I remember making nice salmon dinners for myself. Um, but when it came to the day of the exam, I was always had my granola bars like lined up, ready to go, had plenty of water lined up, ready to go. I'm not a big eater in the morning. So it was nice just to have those quick snacks for me to help give some energy. How about you, Steph? I think the night before like I'm a runner, so I carb loaded because I was like used to doing that before like a big run. So I was like, okay, I have a big test to do. So I remember eating pasta the night before specifically. Um, and the day of test, I had like all kinds of snacks. I think I had a cheese stick. I had almonds. I had little dark chocolates, um, water. I had it all, I felt like, because I used every single break during the test and I would eat something little to give me a, more energy. I remember, too, I had less coffee than I typically have because I was already a little bit amped up for the exam. I figured if I have a full cup of coffee like I normally do, I'll be a little jittery and have a little too much energy. So yeah. I had like a half calf instead of a full calf. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Stephanie, I'm going to ask you this next one because you are the music person. Do you have any songs that a student can use for their playlist? This is hard because everybody likes different music. Um, I, again, I just really was in the Hamilton soundtrack mode of my life um, when I was taking the MPT. And they have a lot of just really good pump up songs. Um, I also specifically like the song I Can by Nas. Um, it just also motivated me. So those are a couple, I guess, recommendations that I like. Um, but I think you just, you know, you find the song that you might turn to um, when you need motivation at the gym or something like that. That is the type of music I would put on your playlist for the test. I'll go old school. Play some Beastie Boys. They got a ton of great songs that are great, upbeat, and energetic. Go Beastie Boys. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, LinkedIn Live, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you found a few helpful hints that'll make you feel that much more prepared for the NPTE in less than two weeks now. Wishing you the best of luck. You got this. You got this.